When did you first find out about the uh, Robo Race project? Actually, myself, I found out in March, April, something like that, uh, this year. It turned out to become my favorite uh, project since uh, I'm a car guy. I'm in automotive industry now for 36 years. When we talk about data, the most important thing is like the information that is in this data. As a human, you understand two dimensions, no problem. You might also understand three dimensions. But when we look at data, which has like 20, hundreds, maybe thousand dimensions, this is very difficult to understand for a human. Machine learning can actually do that quite easy. My name is Mark Hilbert. Um, my role is I'm the team lead of the engineering and production team. And what we're doing is we're looking at production and engineering use cases with machine learning to actually help the business units within the whole Volkswagen group. When we looked at RoboRace, the exciting part was that it was completely different to what we usually do. Like when we look at the functionality or the process in Volkswagen, we try to make them as, as safe as possible, as, as stable as possible. And when we look at RoboRace, we actually we saw the opportunity to really think outside of the box. If you think about the obstacle we did, uh, what we did is not to try to avoid it in the safest way possible, but also in the most exciting way possible, to go around the obstacle very fast, very close. So my name is Christopher Prohm. I'm a data scientist in Volkswagen Data Lab. And in the RoboRace project, I worked on the path planning portion. I'm a physicist by training. Uh, then at some point, I uh, went into industry and worked as a, started working as a data scientist. Seeing the vehicle life in motion was actually really impressive. So for me, it was the, uh, the first project with a, uh, with a live vehicle and uh, with a like, vehicle on track and uh, seeing, it, uh, seeing the operations around it, uh, so how RoboRace managed to, to keep the car running and uh, seeing uh, also our algorithm perform was really great. We had the more race-focused guys, we had the more data-focused guys, we had the more hardware-focused guys, and we brought all those disciplines together towards one common goal, which was make the car competitive, make the car winning the race. I would say 70% of it is, uh, is theory, so really discussing the methods, and the rest is really like testing, implementing and coding. So the data lab is the most awesome place to work for machine learning in the automotive industry. When we look at the collaborations, what we always try to do is like, we try to get outside of what we are doing. So it's always good to have other people from the Fox One group or outside to actually stimulate a bit a different way of thinking. The most challenging personal point of this project was actually bringing like a lot of cultures, a lot of different way of working together. It's physics, engineering, different kind of companies together to focus on one goal in a very short period of time. Doing the day at track, but also doing the night at dinner. So the ultimate goal for us as Data Lab was to figure out uh, whether we can use an autonomous vehicle to drive algorithmic development and machine learning development. And I would say in this project also we saw that we could and we did. What we achieved is we gained lots of knowledge and we developed the algorithms we needed to get the car driving pretty fast and uh, still can uh, detect and avoid obstacles, either by going around it or by stopping safely in front of the, of the obstacle. And I think that's something which we can reuse in many other projects.